Hey there, if you want to sign up into Upwork and get started, you are in the right place. So I'm going to leave you guys a link down below in the description so you can go into the link um, that I'm actually at and you can sign up totally free. So it's going to be asking you to join as a client or as a freelancer. In our case, you want to look for a freelancer because we're looking for a work, a job in here, right? So this is as a freelancer platform. If you want to hire someone in your project, I strongly suggest you guys would stick around with I am a client hiring for a project. But in our case, I'm going to try with freelancer. And then I want to apply as a freelancer. So it's going to be asking us for first a last name an email, a passcode, and the country where we're going to be working. So it's really important to choose exactly the country that you're currently living because when you receive the money, it's going to be asking you for a ID document on a bank account linked to a country that you're currently living. So it's really important to choose exactly the uh, correct uh, information. So I want to choose, yes, I understand and agree to the Upwork and I don't want to enable this um, check mark because I don't want to spam. I don't want to spam for them. I want to choose the terms of service and the privacy policy. I'm going to hit into create my account. There you have it. Your Upwork has been successfully created. Now, in order to get started, it's really important from almost every website that you signed up to verify your email. So I'm going to go back into my email and to verify my account real quick. After I verified my account, it's going to send me back into Upwork.com. And what's going to happen is going to show me all the tools that I can use in order for getting started. So I'm going to choose get started. It's going to be asking you for a few questions. Now, if this is your first time as a freelancer, if yes, you can choose that or nope, it's new to me. And so what's your biggest goal for freelancer to make money on the side, to earn my main income, to get experience, choose the option that fits for you. And lastly, how would you like to work? I like to find opportunities myself. I like to package up my work for clients to buy, or I like to upwork to act as a recruiter. Uh, depending on what kind of options you want, I can strongly recommend you guys to choose the I'd like to package up my work for clients to buy, because here you can just put your project catalog, your services, and actually upwork is going to be helping you to post that into people that can be uh, mo most likely to hire you. So after you choose this option, you go into next and create a profile. It says now let's start setting up your profile. How would you like to tell us about yourself? If you have a linked account, you can just select this option or you can upload a resume. Or if you want to, you can fill out a new resume manually. And here's going to be asking you for a title. For example, let's say that you are a web designer and choose that option and go into next. Now it's going to be asking you to experience. You can add the experience of work, choose that information and hit into your education. Once again, you can add the education right in here. If you don't have anything to add, you don't have to worry about that. You can choose the nothing to add, check the box and keep going and then go into languages. So in my case, I want to choose my level of English, let's say native or bilingual. And here I want to select the other kind of language that I have here as a native. So I'm going to go into now show you skills. Now here's my suggested service of my main service I offer. In my case, I want to use it and hit into next set my rate. So depending on if this is the first time that you are working as a freelancer, I recommend you to stick around with something uh, a little bit more, not that, not that high, but of course do not not so very low so almost like everything is costing like ten dollars per hour so in my case i want to go down for seven and they're going to be quitting me and they're going to be taking a dollar and 40 for every service fee if you're okay with that you'll be receiving this amount of money hit into last photo and location here i can upload a photo and here i need to apply for my um business profile for for my street address, it won't be shown on our profile. If you go into check your profile, it just won't let you advance because we need to fill this. Lastly, I just need to submit my profile and they will be taken care of and see when we are able to go live and start looking for jobs. We've submit already our profile. So it's just a matter of wait and be patient. So there you have it guys. Hopefully this was a very useful video for you. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if it was useful for you. And don't be discouraged if your profile was not approved. Most of the times, there might be like two or 
or three things that you might need to add as a detail but but after you add that thing you can go into upwork and start working as a freelancer so thank you once again for watching the video guys the best of luck and i'll see you next time